what a blessing. And I'm going to ask y'all to come up on this side right here if you don't mind. Okay? Help them out over there, Marcus, if you would, please. <laughs> yeah. Man, we were, we were just doing this a couple a years man. ago, and, uh, and uh, so after the day, we'll see you in two more years. I guess. <laughs> two more babies and two more years. <laughs> we, we done, yeah. yeah, we done. We've heard that one before. Uh, 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 let's see. That's a man you got. He was born 12 years ago. That was a linebacker here. He's a good boy. I don't even have to make sure I got my handkerchief on my shoulder. He's not going to do anything. Yeah, he plays a lot of sleep there. Amen. Thank y'all for coming in. Thank you so much for just coming to dedicate these children. A lot of people don't do this anymore. Uh, amen. So we thank you for coming back to First Baptist Church. Uh, these parents, uh, Alexander A.J. Johnson and Elise Johnson, have come to dedicate their children, Aviana Wade Johnson, right? yeah, and Ariston James Johnson right here, unto the Lord. Amen. There are three primary reasons that we dedicated baby unto the Lord. First of all, it is saying that we acknowledge that only God, amen, has ownership and you have stewardship. That's exactly what I said. Amen. <laughs> Over these children, Aviana and Ariston. Amen. Psalms tell us in Psalm number 127, it says, Lo, children are an heritage unto the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man. So are children of the youth. Happy is the man. Happy, blessed is the man. Amen. He's back here again after two years to, to testify. I'm happy. Amen. Says the man that had a quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Secondly, it is an opportunity to thank God for the precious gift of these children, Eviana and Ariston Johnson. First Samuel 1, verses 26 through 28 says, And she said, O oh my Lord, as thy soul liveth, my Lord, I am the woman that stood by thee here praying unto the Lord. For this child, these children, I prayed, and the Lord hath given me my petition, which I ask of him. Therefore, I know, therefore, also I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. And he worshiped the Lord there. Amen. Thirdly, as parents, Alexander, A.J., and Elise, it is a personal commitment to God, to these children, Eviana, Wave Johnson, and Ariston James Johnson, and to the family of believers, that you would teach and train these children in the word of God and in the ways of the Lord. It is your commitment, amen, that you will, through your example, show them how a child of God should live. And further, you entrust these children, Aviana Wave Johnson and Ariston James Johnson, unto the Lord. Proverbs 22 and verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way that he should go. When he's old, he will not depart from you. Then Ephesians 6 and 4 says, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. So I say to your parents, Alexander, Elise, do you today recognize these children as the gift of God and give heartfelt thanks for God's blessing? All right. Do you now dedicate your children, even the one that's up here preaching, and we got you covered, man. Amen. To the Lord who gave them to you all, Surrendering all worldly claims upon their life in the hope that they will belong wholly to God. All right. 
Do you pledge as parents that with God's fatherly help, you will bring up your children in the discipline and instruction of the Lord, making every reasonable effort with patience and love to build the word of God, the character of Christ, and the joy of the Lord into their life. All right. <laughs> All right. Do you promise to provide through God's blessing for the physical, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual needs of your children? That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Look into your own Heavenly Father for the wisdom, love, and strength to serve them and not use them. <laughs> We're having a good time up here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Do you promise God helping you to make it your regular prayer that by God's grace, your children will come to trust in Jesus Christ alone for the forgiveness of their sin and for the fulfillment of all his promises to them, even eternal life. And in this faith, follow Jesus as Lord and obey his teachings. All right. Congregation, would you stand very quickly, please? I know. Yeah, I'm hungry, too. I mean, they, should have, they should have fed both of us, man. <laughs> and it is said that it takes a village to raise a child. Therefore, to this congregation, do you commit yourselves to pray for this family, supporting and encouraging Alexander and Elise in leading these children, Eviana Wave Johnson, Ariston James Johnson, to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. All right, you may be seated. Amen. Gospel of Mark chapter 10, verses 13 through 16 says, And they brought young children to him, that he should touch them, and his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children, or allow the children to come unto me. And forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. And I'm going to pause right there and change children. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. All right. Let's go back to mama. Let's go back to mama. Amen. See, I'll be trying to tell y'all, it ain't them, it's you. <laughs> it wasn't them, it's me. Amen. Let me read that again. It says, Very last said unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms. I tried to, anyway. Amen. Put his hands upon them and blessed them. Amen. So we say, thank God. For these children. Amen. Aviana Wave Johnson. Am I pronouncing it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I got the name right. Got the name right. Aviana. Mm -hmm. Aviana. Wave Johnson. Ariston James Johnson. Together with your parents who love you dearly and there's people who care about the outcome of your faith, I dedicate you to God, surrendering together. Amen. Them with them, all worldly claims upon your life in the hope that you will belong wholly to God. Forever and may God bless you richly is our prayer. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we got more praise than that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we we have we have for them a uh, certificate and we have a Bible for them and we know you're going to teach them how to read it, how to study it, and how to follow it. God bless you and thank y'all again thank for bringing you very much. Amen. Oh yeah, man. Whew. I'm tired now. I'm ready to go home and take a nap. Uh, I'm I'm glad. Uh, I think uh, I think that young fellow just shows us that we got another football player on the way. And, uh, 
Yeah, he beat me down. I got to admit, he beat me down. <laughs> so don't too many guys beat me down like that, but he got me. We love it. We love you all, and thank you so much. And God bless you. Amen.